thing you didn't know about your penis. Your penis may be a grower or a shower. Among men, there is no consistent relationship between the size of the flaccid penis and its fully erect length. In one study of 80 men, researchers found that increases from flaccid to erect lengths ranged widely, from less than a quarter inch to 3.5 inches longer. You can't assume that a dude with a big limp penis gets much bigger with an erection, and the guy whose penis looks tiny might get a surprisingly big erection. An analysis of more than a thousand measurements taken by sex researchers shows that shorter flaccid penises tend to gain about twice as much length as longer flaccid penises. A penis that doesn't gain much length with an erection has become known as a shower, and a penis that gains a lot is said to be a grower. These are not medical terms, and there aren't scientifically established thresholds for what's a shower or a grower. Most penises aren't extreme showers or growers. About 12% of penises gain one-third or less of their total length with an erection, and about 7% doubled in length when erect. The Pleasure Zone Many men consider the underside of the glands, head of the penis, and the underside of the shaft to be the most sensitive to sexual pleasure. Researchers asked 81 healthy men to rate the erotic sensitivity of different areas of their bodies, including not only the penis but also zones such as the scrotum, anus, nipples, and neck. The underside of the glands and underside of the shaft had the highest sensitivity ratings for a significant majority of men, followed by the upper side of the glands, left and right sides of the glands, sides of the penis, upper side of the shaft, and foreskin for the minority of men who were uncircumcised. Sensitivity declines with age. Studies show that the penis steadily loses sensitivity as men age, though it's hard to say exactly by how much. That's because different researchers have used different ways to stimulate the penis and measure sensitivity. In general, the sensitivity of the penis is gauged by the least amount of stimulation a man is able to feel. That is called the sensory threshold. Despite differences between studies, the data show a clear trend. When taken together, from age 25 on, sensitivity starts to decline. The sharpest decline in sensitivity is seen between ages 65 and 75. Vibrators work on the penis too. Vibrators aren't only for women, they work on the penis too. In fact, vibration is so effective on the penis that often men with spinal cord injuries can ejaculate with the aid of a special medical vibrator. For this kind of treatment, the vibrator is usually held against the underside of the head of the penis. Although vibrators often help men with ejaculation problems, you don't have to have any kind of medical condition to use one, you could do it just for fun. There's more to the penis than meets the eye. Most guys would be proud to know that their penis is twice as long as they think it is. That's because half the length of the penis is inside your body. Just like you don't see all of a big oak tree above ground, you don't see the root of your penis tucked up inside your pelvis and attached to your pubic bone. Use it or lose it. You need to have erections regularly to keep your penis in shape, it essentially needs to be exercised. To maintain a healthy tone, the smooth muscle of the penis must be periodically enriched with oxygen by the rush of blood that engorges the penis and makes it erect. If guys are physically able to get erect but never have erections during the day, maybe they find themselves in very unerotic circumstances for a long time. They needn't worry, the brain has an automatic penis maintenance function built in. Impulses from the brain cause erections during the dreaming phase of sleep called the REM phase. It doesn't matter if you're having a hot sex dream or a zombie apocalypse nightmare, your penis gets hard during that period of the sleep cycle. Impulses from the brain cause erections during the dreaming phase of sleep called the REM phase. It doesn't matter if you're having a hot sex dream or a zombie apocalypse nightmare, 
your penis gets hard during that period of the sleep cycle. If they don't do anything to maintain normal erections, they will experience shortening of the penis. Without regular erections, penile tissue can become less elastic and shrink, making the penis 1 to 2 centimeters shorter. A device like a vacuum pump, which forces the penis to swell with blood, can help men with physical erection problems maintain a healthy penis. Your penis is a habitat. The skin of your penis is home to a diverse community of bacteria. Researchers use genetic tests to identify the bacteria found on men's penises. Their studies showed there were a total of 42 unique kinds of bacteria inhabiting the skin of the penis. But uncircumcised and circumcised penises don't have the same variety and abundance of bacteria. The study showed the researchers first analyzed samples from the penises of 12 men who were planning to get circumcised. Samples were taken and analyzed again after the men were circumcised. After circumcision, there were fewer kinds of bacteria on the men's penises. Many of the kinds of bacteria found to be less common or absent after circumcision were anaerobic, meaning that they don't need oxygen to grow. Most men aren't circumcised. Worldwide, approximately 37 to 39 percent of males aged 15 and older are circumcised, according to a 2016 report. The report states that almost all Jewish and Muslim males in the world have circumcised penises, and together they account for almost 70 percent of all circumcised males globally. Some research shows that there may be health benefits from circumcision. For instance, circumcised men may be less likely to pass sexually transmitted diseases to their female partners or to develop penile cancer. In recent years, several studies have shown that circumcised men are less likely to be infected with HIV. The WHO and UNAIDS now recommend male circumcision as an HIV prevention measure. There is compelling evidence that male circumcision reduces the risk of heterosexually acquired HIV infection in men by approximately 60%, the WHO states. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.